I'm my local Walmart with my wife, and they actually have some of the same stuff that was here last time. But getting onto the Black Series. HK87 right here. Got a Ezra. Got a, I've seen this is the I've seen three choppers in here. It's cool to see some variety on the shelf for sure. Another Ezra, another chopper back here. I got another Ezra and the chopper right here as well. Thinking about getting these two. I have I have them both in box, but I don't have them loose yet. So I'm thinking about grabbing those. A lot of Luke and Grogu build up packs, a lot of black chrysanthemums back here. And I really want this Grief Cargo. I love the likeness to Carl Weathers, which is just like them. But I've actually seen this on Amazon for 15 bucks. So gonna gonna hold off on that. Still the same thing. Ain't gone down at all. We got two more down here. You know the whole lot of micro series. Got some vintage stuff right here. That's kind of cool. HK87 Android. Pretty cool. I'd like to check GameStop. Maybe see Paz Vizsla or... Uh... Oh, there's here. That's nice. Vintage collection. Maybe to snag me an old Master Mall. I seen him at the GameStop last time, but I held off. There's a vintage collection. Morgan Elsbeth. Looks nice. Grand Inquisitor right here. Twister, yeah. So nothing too crazy. Same stuff as usual. Got some V wings right here. Haven't bought any micro series in a while, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So real quick, just found this HK87 Assassin Droid. Be sure to check your overstock because my wife actually noticed these up there, and I was about to walk right past them. So make sure you check these overhead aisles too. Hey y'all, this is Stone Mandalorian. Appreciate you tuning into the channel. Hope you're having a good day or night when you're watching this. And I'm pretty excited because I got two more new figures here and also a two for one figure review for you. And I'm gonna be taking a look at uh, the Ahsoka version of Ezra Bridger, the Lothal version, and his kind of season four Rebels look, which they, I, I think that's pretty much what they were going for here. And then Ahsoka came out and they just kind of like threw on the new actor's face on it, but the body looks great. And we also have the, reissued Rebels version of Chopper because he was also in Ahsoka as well being with Hera and all that and th these are really awesome I, I was, I'll post some either some footage of me finding them before or after the video however I ended up editing it but uh, ended up going for a little figure hunt in Walmart and found a couple cool figures and seen some nice full pegs of Black Series so that was nice and some newer waves as including this Ahsoka wave so I'm going to uh, get these out of the box and take a closer look at them. Yo, and here they are out of the box. And <laughs> these are two cool freaking figures, man. I absolutely love this Ezra. I think I kind of underestimated how cool this figure was. But this is really pretty much his season three, season four look when he started kind of maturing and stuff. He cut his hair and started kind of you know, dipping in the dark side a little bit using that Sith holocron as we've seen. And man, the outfit just looks spot on. It's got, I think the ch the little chest piece of his vest or whatever kind of has some, looks like it's got a little bit of a, I don't want to say weathering, but like a little bit of battle damage. And the little blaster that comes with him is nice. The, the brown color on the pants and his boots with that slight yellow, yellowish orange, just I love the contrast of yellow, orange, and brown. It's just a really cool color scheme. And Chopper has the same thing going with the yellow and orange. They just look like they they go together, you know. Part of, kind of hair has also got orange pants. It's kind of like the you know color of the squad. Even Sabine at one point in time, she has like a lot of orange in her hair and on her armor and shit. But these these are really freaking cool, man. And I'm super stoked that I I found them again. I had them in box and. I know I have a little bit of a problem. I could have just opened the ones I had, but I'm mostly an inbox collector, starting to kind of contemplate that here as of late. Been really opening a lot of stuff up, but I'm gonna quit jibber jabbering and get onto the paint and details and articulation of these two dope, dope ass figures, and uh, we'll go from there. Starting up first, here we got Ezra. Looks awesome, man. And just starting off real quick right here, 
is his, which fits very snug in there, by the way. So you don't worry about losing it. I'll set him right here for a second. And there we go. And this is Ezra's DL44, which if you don't know, is the same type of blaster that Han Solo uses. Looks like a little bit of silver paint with like a gray plastic. Ooh, and there it goes. Sorry, people. But yeah, same same blaster as Han Solo. D oh, DL44 Heavy Blaster. Very reliable. Kind of like, it's almost like the revolver of cowboys. Very reliable, very modifiable. Good for the military, good for bounty hunters, smugglers. And then let's take a look, looky here at his laser sword, which I'd still really like to know how, I think, I'm not sure if this is right, but supposedly they did a job for some bounty hunters and Ezra and Kanan were looking for, looking to get Ezra a new crystal for his lightsaber or something like that. But he's got a, somehow he got this green saber, but. It looks awesome. Nice, nice, juicy, pretty good green to it. Give you a little view of it far away. So it's got a nice green color to it. See it down here. And you kind of even amongst other lines and colors. I'll give you a little zoom on of the hilt here. And here's the hilt. And that is Ezra's hilt, no doubt about it. Pretty accurate to my knowledge, especially down here at the emitter. Put that right here, and then finally, man, this is a really cool figure. I think I kind of, I think I kind of underestimated this one. Sorry for my camera work, y'all. But man, this is a really freaking cool figure. And for as far as likeness goes, it looks, it looks just like the actor who plays him in the Ahsoka show. I forget his name. But I feel like he did a pretty good job. Got the scar right there. I believe that he came, got that from the Inquisitor. Nice details on the hair here. Really love the orange and the yellow right here. That's where I said earlier, the battle damage is not really like weathering. It almost just looks like scuffs. Like It is like damage. Nice orange jumpsuit, cool green gloves. Got the pants right here. I really dig this brown for the pants. And these are our overlay. The holster and his, I guess it's kind of like uh, chaps. I guess, I don't know technically what they're called. Nice detail on the belt here. Little hook right there for Ezra's saber. Look at the boots. Some nice sculpt in here. Nice folds in the pants. Nice creases here. Really dig this this little bit of yellow or orange, whatever that is on the looks yellow to me. And it's kind of like burgundy color and that orange. You just I, I really love the color scheme of this figure. So now we've gone over some some of the closer details and paint articulations next, and get a nice good full T. Very nice, and you can 360 all the way around. Deep cut double, or I'm sorry, not double, single hinge, which can get less than 90. Got a horizontal hinge. And probably a vertical hinge on this one. Yep, vertical hinge. And we got some decent kick out. See, that doesn't really inhibit it at all. It looks decent kick out. Right there, straight out. And then you see, get a little bit of kickback here. If you force it. Got some thigh swivel, which is nice to see. I, I'm a fan of thigh swivel. And then let's see how that single knee goes. Very nice. Uh, no, that's, that's 90. That's 90. Then we got, of course, rockers ankle rockers or pivot whichever you'd like to call it and we can go down about that far just because of the sculpt back there it starts kind of button up on the foot right there if you see 
Now we can come up about that that far. And it, again, butts up to the just the way that the sculpt is. But I still have been able to get him in some pretty cool poses. That's a nice, nice sculpt right here. Very nice. Just notice the kind of pleat, pleated fabric going down the arm. I just noticed that actually. Very nice touch. Very, very nice. Yeah, this is very cool. I like the folds on the shirt too. Looks very lifelike. So yeah, there is there is Ezra. I definitely I'm trying to get my camera to focus. Damn it. Me and technology don't gel sometimes, but I try to respect him or her. But yeah, looking awesome, dude. And now we have the one and only other droid who could give R2 a run for his money. C1 10P or damn it, what's his what's his model number? I forget now. Got Chopper here with some nice weathering and damage on him. I guess that's more so wet weathering, I reckon. Looking very nice. Only thing is this eye was missing a little bit of black paint. And if I show you the little I can show you the side by side. I have the figure in box over there, and it's got the that this whole eye is supposed to be black, but the blue is nicely done in there. Very nicely done. Well, there's a little speck in there that I'm seeing, but really I'm really digging the weathering on this though. Some nice pieces. This piece comes out, kind of like his taser, the way he can access terminals and stuff like that. The arms also fold into the side. I like the way that they look out. Just Chopper's definitely got a personality about him, and I just feel like this kind of displays that. Love it. So these do fully move. These also, or no, they don't. Yeah, they do spin. Yeah, they're articulated. But I'm not going to mess with or I think they are. Where's that one piece? Well, I'm not gonna mess with it because I don't wanna mess with it. I don't think that is, but they do fold in and see if you fold that all the way in, it just folds into that, into the side. This little piece comes out and like so we got some nice detail in here. This yellow one here looks really nice. Try to pull his arm out of the way, the legs do go all the way around. Get this wheel, be careful because, oh, I need to get the accessories out. I forgot, I almost got, forgot the accessories for Chopper. Because I actually, if he comes with a really cool like flight stand, but I just really like the way he looks with just his wheel out, but that just pegs right in the bottom there. And be careful not to push it too far in there because it will, it'd be a pain to get out of there. But if you just leave it right where, wherever, and Got his little dish on top. Yeah, really cool little figure, man. Cool little astromech to have on the shelf. It's always nice to get some, get some more droids. Some ni nice paint on this figure, actually. Very nice paint. Some orange right there. I don't know if they forgot to do this side or what, or if that's accurate. Orange on here. The yellow is very clean all the way around. This figure has a good bit of paint on it. Yellow is very cleanly done. This silver looks very nice. A yeah, very cool, very cool little figure. Some of the other accessories that come with Chopper are the is his other strut or his other leg, which has also got some very clean paint on it as well. Got some weathering too. So this is actually a match. There's a, actually an episode about this. Is uh, Chopper finds another strut that matches his other leg because if you don't know. One side is from a different different model of his same unit or from a different astromech altogether. I'm really not too sure, but so this is supposed to be his, this is his other leg, but I like that one. And then, oh, whoa, where you going, Chop? Oh, something cool I forgot to mention too is these are somewhat articulated. This one's a little stiff, but this one here does have a little more give. Not as much as R2-D2, but. Still cool. Then he comes with this blast effect for his flight stand. And this pegs up in the top here and I can show you that as well. And this is the kind of little flight base. Like he's, he's using his rocket or his, his jets. 
kind of like like the kind of white color, very smoky looking, airy looking. And what you do is you put that there, pull this out. You just take this one, pop it. Oh, and well, don't drop it. So don't drop it. You take this. Don't be don't don't be gross. Do not be gross. You went there, not me. Take this. Push it up in there like that. And then here, let me get it, get it in focus for you guys. And then you put him in like so and just kind of tilt it and boom. You got you got chopper taking flight. It's cool. It's a cool little idea, but I, I really like how he looks on the shelf. Just, just kind of standing there. That's all I need him to do. Maybe if I kind of get it a little straighter looking, like he's going. Well, you 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 get the idea. It's cool. Some side by side comparisons here. We got our got Ezra and Chopper next to the Mandalorian version of Ahsoka. Here's the Spectres next to a Stormtrooper. Here they are next to R2-D2, the newly upscaled, correctly scaled R2-D2. And a more randomish kind of side-by-side -side to end things off here, we got them standing next to the Season 2 Mercenary Gear version of Hunter. So there's my review of Chopper and Ezra, and just totally stoked to have another drawer on the shelf and to have Chopper at that. He's such a... Interesting droid and character. He's uh, pretty quirky, and he's got a lot of attitude to him. He don't take no shit, and this Ezra just looks freaking awesome to me. It's a very definitive version of an older, more mature Ezra. I kind of wish they had went with a, a more animated style looking face sculpt, but I really do dig this one, and I like the new actor's portrayal of Ezra, and just an awesome figure, man. I really dig the sculpt. Very decent articulation. Nothing... Crazy, crazy, but you can still get him into some, some really cool poses. He looks very natural with the blaster and lightsaber in hand. You can do a bunch of different combinations. Like, you could have him putting, going to draw his blaster, having it, like, halfway out the holster and with his, it's still in his hand, or have it where he's going to grab it and have the blaster in his holster, or just a, a new, numerous things, man. You can pose Chopper with his arms out, not arms out, his little shock prod or whatever with his flight stand. His, his jet, little jet, jet, jet piece or whatever. Sorry, I'm, I know I stuttered a lot just now. Leave me alone, damn it. <laughs> but this is, this is, like, man, I just very much underestimated this Ezra figure. And I'm glad that I finally ended up pulling the trigger. And I should have got him a while ago. I did get him at Target. And, like, I was contemplating opening. But I also just really enjoy to see, I like to, I like to see the package, how it came packed in the package how the accessories are laid out like i really do enjoy that aspect of it too some people may think it's a little uh what, what's the term i'm looking for a little uh i don't know i don't want to say counterproductive that's i don't know what i'm trying what word i'm looking for but people might think that's kind of foolish to buy the figure in box and have it loose but that's just i don't do it for every figure that's just how i do some figures and i really do enjoy chopper and ezra as characters, I feel connected to them, but just because of watching Rebels and stuff like that. So I just feel like I, they, they deserve to be in my collection, inbox and loose. But I highly recommend going to get them. If you get a chance or you see one online somewhere, go ahead and snag it. Totally worth it, man. This Ezra figure is, is, is really cool. And the orange just really pops on the shelf along with Chopper. I actually have them standing together right now because I was contemplating opening my Zeb and couple of other rebels figures that i have but y'all y'all go get this these figures man they're they're so worth it they're just so dope color scheme articulation a lot of good paint on these figures just, just so much paint very, very a lot of good clean paint on chopper the weathering is uh, is awesome and once again last thing the likeness of of ezra to the actor very nice touch very nice good good thickness to the blade good color good vibrant green but I'm going to wrap it up because I do have a tendency. I can keep saying all the good things and the things that I don't like. These figures are just 
just so awesome. And collecting is just a, a hell of a hobby, and it's got a very awesome community behind it. But I hope you all enjoyed this review. Uh, if you did, leave me a like, subscribe. I do a lot of other content like this. I, I would much appreciate it. And I feel like if you enjoyed this one, you'd enjoy my other videos. And I hope you'll have a good day or night whenever you're watching this. Uh, may the force be with you. Thank you.